Hello everybody, this is Johnny Barfield with Cobb County Senior Services again with another App Spotlight. This week we're going to be concentrating on Spotify, which is a popular music streaming app. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is go to the App Store and get that downloaded. We're going to search Spot if I and we're going to get that downloaded. All right, now that that's downloaded, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, the first thing that's going to want us to do is sign up. So um, what I'm going to do is just sign up for free here. And I'm going to use my um, work email. And again, while I'm typing this in, jonathan.barfields at cobbcounty.org. If you ever want to just get in touch with me, with maybe with an idea for a class, or you have any questions, feel free to reach out. So I'm going to put that down. Hit next. I'm going to create a password. Uh, you do have to pick your date of birth. So now everybody can know my birthday. Make sure to get me birthday presents. and my gender. That's going to ask me to create a name. I'm just going to pick Jonathan.Barfield, what it um, automatically picks for me. Create. And now we can get going. The very first thing it's going to ask is for three artists that you like. It's going to do this so that it can start to create a playlist, get an idea of what it is that you like. Um, I'm a big bluegrass guy, so let me put in a couple of, of things. Old Crow Medicine Show. Oh. And then once I typed it in, it gives me a lot of other um, artists I can choose from. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick two more um, that I like. And now you could keep going, but uh, I'm not going to. I'll just click Done. Give it a second just to analyze the choices, and we can get going. It's always, most apps are going to ask you, would you like to allow notifications? Um, that's entirely up to you. I don't like getting a lot of notifications. I don't like those little, you know, red circles all over my phone. So I'm going to say don't allow, but, you know, you can allow it if you'd like. Looking at the home screen, it's going to try and get you started with a little playlist based upon the artist that you picked at the very top here. So we're going to click on that, and it's calling it Daily Mix number one. Uh, it's using the artist that I picked, but also throwing in some things that people also liked uh, based upon the um, those artists. So while you see there's the uh, three bands I had, there's one um, here called Paper Bird, which I didn't pick, um, William Elliot Whitmore. It, it chooses songs that fit your taste based upon the ones that you pick. So we'll come back to uh, something like that later. Next up, we'll just scroll down. Um, it gives you some ideas for things that you can um, pick as well. Um, you know, it has a little Old Crow Medicine Show um, list. Shows, podcasts you can try. Uh, they have a mood, you know, kind of based upon the mood. If you want some happy music, if you want acoustic music, road trip songs, peaceful piano. All kinds of things like that, as well as um, some new music that everybody's um, listening to right now. Scrolling down further, you have the uh, top songs for uh, Global USA, the top 50, all kinds of different playlists there, Workout. So it's going to give you a lot of things that you can try. The next thing we're going to do is explore that bottom bar. Not a lot of options here, so it's pretty simple. Now, the first one is Home. That's always going to take you back. Clicking on that will take you back to your home page. Next up is search, pretty self-explanatory. What you can do here is, first off, it's going to give you um, some options you can browse through if you want to browse through different genres, pop, mood, Latin, R&B. You can do it that way, or you can just type in a specific artist or song in the top. So, gosh, what will I search? I will search the Beatles. Everybody likes the Beatles. 
So I type in the Beatles, and it's going to give me a whole lot of different options. Um, it's going to give me not only songs, you can see Here Comes the Sun is listed here in the middle here, but also they have some playlists. You can um, listen to all the Beatles number one songs by clicking here, uh, the Best of the Beatles playlist. Um, you can also scroll down and look by a category. So if I want to see all the artists associated with the title The Beatles, if I want to see all the songs, just the songs by The Beatles, I could click on See All Songs. I could see only playlists of The Beatles. Uh, you don't just have to go by the artist. Like I said, you can go by the song, which is pretty self-explanatory, but you can also type in a genre you like. Let's see. I'm going to type in... I'll type in bluegrass. I'll stick with that. All right. So looking on here, we at the very top we have the genre bluegrass. We can click on that, and it'll look give us a a lot of different options just under the bluegrass genre. But scrolling down further, you can see here we have a lot of playlists associated with bluegrass. And just like before, we can narrow it down further by clicking on just seeing songs. So these are all bluegrass songs. Or we can do all bluegrass playlists. And we can choose a playlist that we liked. OK. One step further down, we can go to our library. So let's click on that. We've just started, so we don't have anything right here. This is where you're going to see the playlists that you create. You're also going to see the artists that you like. You're also going to see the albums that you like. So let's go ahead and go back to search. And let's pull up a playlist. I'm going to pull up Bluegrass again. And just click the first one here, Bluegrass Country. All right, again, looking at the playlist, we can see all the songs associated with the playlist. This is a huge one. So this will keep you occupied for a good long time. What you can do here is you can see this little heart here right below the title and the, the number of likes. You hit that little heart and now it's been added to your library. So we can scroll back on over to our library and see when we go to playlists that that list is now something we can go to easily all the time. We don't have to search for it. It's always going to be in our library. Going back here, we can also do that with specific songs. There's two ways you can like a song. You can either just swipe to the left until you see that little heart, and you can see it's added to like songs. Or you can open up the song, and you see the little heart here on the right-hand side, you can like it from there. Um, you'll also notice that when I clicked on that song, it appeared at the bottom of the screen. So right now, it is um, playing for me all the time. Um, you can control whether it's um, playing uh, right now at the bottom right-hand side just by clicking the uh, pause or play button. Or you can click on it and expand your view like that. There's also some other things you can do from this screen. You can shuffle the songs, so you'll see the songs are in a particular order. But say you don't like that order. Say this is a playlist you listen to all the time, and you want to hear the songs in a different order. You just hit that shuffle button there on the left-hand side. You'll notice it's going green. It's to the left of the uh, play and the uh, little arrow button there. Uh, to the right, the opposite side of the screen, you can also loop the song as well. Now here in the middle, obviously, that's the play button. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And to the left and the right of the play button, you have the skip button. So you can go through the songs that way as well. The next thing we're going to look at here with the playlist, at the bottom right-hand corner, click on that little, it's like three lines with a little almost too small to see play button. Uh, click on that. And that's going to show you your cue, the order of the songs that are going to be playing. And that's something that you're able to control a little bit. It's going to show you automatically what it would be. But if you want to change the order a little bit, say I wanted to listen to Gypsy, way down here, kind of like halfway down the screen, um, I'd simply click on that. 
and you'll see now I have two options at the bottom of the screen. Remove, which obviously pretty, pretty obviously remove it from the order of play, or add to queue. And when I click on that, you'll notice that Gypsy pops up next. So next time, after this one song we're playing, we're able to play Gypsy. And you can do that with all of it. And if you want to clear the queue, if you didn't like that selection, you just hit clear queue. And it's gone away. All right, let's go back to our library screen. So I'm just going to like this song real fast. We're going to hit that bottom, that button here at the top left-hand corner. And we're going to hit your library. And now we're going to have another couple of options we will notice. Um, we'll have liked songs. Because we like those two songs, we can now click on that. And as you collect more songs that you like, you can actually have a playlist of just songs that you liked. You can also create your own playlist by clicking the Create Playlist button here. You can name it whatever you like. I'm just going to stick with Bluegrass since that's what I've been doing the whole time. Plus Create. And now you notice we can start adding songs. So we'll click Add Songs. And it's going to give us a lot of options based upon the artists that we've liked. So we have all these songs here. We can just start adding it, just clicking the little Add button there on the right-hand side. And you'll notice it'll start giving us the order of the song starts changing based upon what we're picking because it's kind of starting to narrow down our interests. But at the top, you can also hit Search if you want something completely different. I'm a big... Um, Broadway musical fan. Soaps. You should spell it right. Broadway search. And just go through here. A bunch of different options as well. But that's how you create a playlist. Now let's go back to our home screen. Let's go back to library one more time. Um, we can also go to artists. Those are the three artists that we picked. You can either add new artists here at the bottom by clicking that, and then it's going to give you some suggestions, again, based upon the artists that you picked as well as um, artists that are popular at the time. You can also click on the artists that you've chosen, and you can unfollow them. If that's something that you just... You know, you kind of picked, but you're not really liking it anymore. You'll see the following button there, right below the uh, the, the name of the band and the, the monthly listing. listeners. I click on that, and you are unfollowing them, and they wouldn't be on your list anymore. And it's kind of the same thing if you're adding somebody. I'm going to go to search. I'm going to pick the traveling crowies. And now they've been added. And again, just click on their name. Following means you are currently following them. Click on that, and you're unfollowing them. We'll go to add albums. We haven't picked any albums that we've liked yet, but it's kind of the same thing as everything else. Just click on search. Let's do a quick search here. We'll do the Beatles again. They're an easy one. All right, so if we want to like an album, we'll scroll down the albums. We're going to see all the albums by the Beatles. Click on Abbey Road here at the top. And just like the songs, it's basically in the same spot as the following button for the bands as well. Just click the little like button there. We'll go back to our library. And now you see you have it under albums. And finally, we'll look at the... Uh, bottom right hand button here premium Spotify is free but there are some caveats um, to free uh, for instance the biggest one you will have ad breaks in between some of your songs a little short breaks but still it can be annoying with free you can only have six skips per hour you can only listen while you're online so you have to have an internet connection or you know a data connection with your phone but with premium you don't have to worry about that I will note that you can only sign up for premium on your computer. You can't sign up for premium through your phone. Um, so it's kind of just the same thing as going to any website. You go to Spotify.com, 
and you log into your account and you'd be able to sign up for premium if that is something you're interested in. There is one more thing I want to cover before we wrap this up. At the upper right hand side you'll notice a gear as with most apps that is your settings menu. Once you click on that and there's a lot of different options I encourage you to you know take a look at this but I did want to highlight one thing in particular the explicit content option. You click on explicit content there and if you have children in the car or if you just don't want to listen to songs that have explicit content it's very easy to turn that off. Just click on that little green thing there and now you won't get any explicit content at all. But that really does it for Spotify. I hope you got something out of this. Again, please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Jonathan.Barfield at CobbCounty.org and I'll be happy to answer your questions or if you even have a suggestion for an app that you'd like to see covered. Until we see you next time, thank you very much. Bye.